Hello and welcome to Weekend Day. The pandemic has given most people a chance to work from home, from their dream location. Uh, my name is Vikram Bakshi. I am the CEO and MD of Ascot Hospitality and I'm presently working from Goa. When the pandemic actually hit us, uh, we were forced to work from home. Uh, so the first few months, I stayed back home, tried to function from there, and I soon uh, realized that uh, I was not getting the kind of, uh, uh, you know, climate that I wanted to be in. I, I was not getting the weather that was of conducive to my functioning uh, while being uh, confined to the room in Delhi. Hi, I'm Nikhil Rodgi. I'm a lawyer. Uh, I've been working from my home in Goa for the last two or three months. And uh, I decided to take this step because we have a young baby boy. So we shifted to Goa to get away from the Delhi pollution. Hi, I'm Avantika Bakchi. I handle marketing and PR for Ascot Hospitality, which is based out of New Delhi NCR. But currently I'm working from home from Goa. So I'm SME Zubhan. I'm an intellectual property lawyer. I'm currently in Dabsha in Himachal Pradesh. Actually, this happened last year in March where we were anticipating that something's going to happen in India, some sort of restrictions. And so we just decided to move lock, stock and barrel up here to Dabsha and work from here. Hi, my name is Chandar Lal. I'm a senior advocate at the Delhi High Court. Uh, I've been working from home during the COVID years. I shifted to a remote location in Goa to so pursue my many other interests which were water related uh, in Goa. So I thought that was a fabulous experience and highly recommend. Work from home from remote destinations is a great option and one of the most preferred locations happens to be Goa. Happen to be a DJ, or as they call it today, in today's day and age, a DJ. -in. Um, it's really worked out because Goa has, uh, you know, in terms of its food, in terms of its, uh, you know, hospitality, the hotels that they've built, etc. They really take pride in it. And in terms of music, as you know, Goa is literally the hub of uh, electronic dance music. Real estate companies like Estrava that sell villas and offer properties for rent are not complaining as their revenue has increased multifold. Uh, we do two things. Uh, one brand is called Estrava, uh, which is a development company where we build and narrowly focus on building and selling of holiday homes. The second business is under the brand Lohuno, uh, where we take over beautiful homes, service them and rent them out. So it's almost like a hotel in a home. Our development business grow, has grown a little over 200% this year. Uh, and our hospitality, which is Lohono, has grown about five to six times uh, over the year before. There are two or three reasons for that. Uh, number one, uh, it's because, uh, A, people value, you know, family. People value the fact that, you know, they want to be with nature. They want to be in greenery. They want to be in air. They're starting to value health, value wellness. There's some who do long leases, uh, and these long leases are, uh, uh, you know, usually people, uh, you know, young couples who work in a tech company, work in finance. I've seen really, really aggressive, you know, kind of demands. Isprava is not alone. Other real estate providers in Goa are also witnessing positive growth. Uh, I would say our occupancy at the moment is probably close to 90, 90 odd percent. And we have an inventory of about 70 odd homes. Two bedroom apartment in February, which last year would have been about 50, 55, is now closer to 70K. Uh, a three bedroom villa um, will be anywhere from about a lakh 25 to five, six, seven, eight lakhs a month, depending on the type of type of home they want. Not just real developers, even litigants and lawyers seem to be benefiting. They, it, during normal physical functioning, they'd have to fly all the way to Delhi 
engage a local lawyer, then come to the Supreme Court. Now they have the advantage of uh, just going ahead with their local lawyer from their hometown or, or wherever. And that local lawyer can appear uh, before the Supreme Court sitting from the comfort of his office. One big advantage of uh, this mode of conducting hearings is actually the reduced uh, environmental impact uh, due to, uh, firstly, a lot of paper is saved. I think it became far more efficient. In court, we are waiting for our matters, we are wasting our time, whereas here I can spend quality time with my family and when I have to get into a hearing, I just get into a hearing. Uh, there's more accountability. McDonald India's former managing director Vikram Bakshi has been working from home from remote locations since the beginning of the pandemic. And he knows the next remote destination he is headed to once the Goa summer takes over. The first thing I did is I moved out of the hills. Uh, those were still summers. And so I spent the first few months in the hills. While work from home is here to stay and planning is always a virtue, working from home has also given many people an opportunity to bring about a work-life balance. On the show ahead, we take a break. When we come back, we take you through some treatments that are in the medical market and will help you reduce your makeup consumption. You are watching Weekending. Next, we are going to introduce you to some dermatologist-approved cosmetic procedures that will help reduce the amount of makeup you consume. We have with us Dr. Gitika Mittal Gupta to tell us more. Doctor, why are people opting for these procedures like microblading which help reduce the amount of makeup you use on your eyebrows and lip tattooing that help you say goodbye to your lipstick? Very well. So, Ambika, the reasons are pretty much obvious. I'll show you some pictures over here. So, that's from my patient and as you can see, her brows before were very uneven and in fact, you know, over plucking has caused some disfigurement here and there. So, this is post the procedure and you can see there is no need to put any makeup post such a beautiful result and definitely like why won't you choose this because every morning you can wake up to just a fresh face with your brows done and you're ready to hit out and also for lip tattooing when we do that people are really conscious when they don't have that uniform color on their lips because there are many reasons be it the asian skin or be it your dryness or smoking or genetically those lips are disfigured so in fact we are going to do this treatment on shivani today we are going to do microblading for her brows and lip tattooing for the lips and you will see the results for your own eyes. So, um, so she's halfway through the treatment? Yes, already. So tell us the whole process, what's happening here? So what we are doing for her over here is one of the most popular treatments when it comes to addressing your lip colour. So lip colour is very essential be it for the brides or be it for a patient who has been having genetic lip pigmentation. So for her we are using a nice pinkish lip colour and that will last her for about 2-5 to five years. This is also called lip tattooing but the colour is semi-permanent in nature so you might have to come back for a touch up after about 6 weeks. And once you come back for a touch up after 6 weeks then when do you come back next? Maybe after 2 years or something like that but you don't actually have to plan for a touch up then. Yeah. And what's the process? So do you put a numbing cream and how does it Absolutely. Start? So once the patient has to be prepped up, we, of course being doctors, we have to understand what is the reason behind the lip pigmentation. Why does the patient want to go for it? Because I would not want you to do it just before your beach vacation. It's absolutely strictly contraindicated. You can't hit the beach after this. You need to protect it from the sun damage. If it's a pre bridal we would want you to do it maybe a month before. And after a thorough assessment, history, we do colour matching. So the colours that we are using generally for the lip tattooing or the lip uh, pigmentation removal are these colours. These colours are absolutely beautifully looking. We can combine the colours to match the skin tone or requirement of the patient. It can also be deep red for anyone who's having very deep pigmented lips. We have all the different sorts of colours which can be mixed up and matched to the colour that you want. 
So be it like the peachy blush color or the deep red color for highly pigmented lips because especially Asians sometimes do have the upper lip which is more pigmented than the lower and sometimes they also have the outer lip line which is more darker. So for all those patients who are wanting a more permanent solution, the colors can be mixed up, matched and after numbing which takes about 40 minutes, we just put in this color with the help of microneedling. Doctor here, Dr. Monica works with us and she's an expert at permanent, semi-permanent tattooing of the lips, be it the eyes or be it um, the microblading. And how long does the process take? For about 40 minutes of numbing and uh, to add up on that maybe an hour more. So I would want you to take about two hours for the treatment. Alright, we'll yes. see you once you have your lips completely done. Tell us about the entire process of microblading and how does it help uh, the receiver? Sure, so you know brows are definitely one of the most enhancing feature on our face and especially with half of the time us wearing the mask, more and more focus is there on the eyes and the brows. And we all love doing brows, be it with makeup or be it with pencils, but with microblading it's a more kind of a semi-permanent solution. You don't have to stand in the mirror and do your brows for hours. So what it does, it uses pigments which are safe, which are natural to fill it up and also create the shape. So the doctor will do the assessment first of what kind of brows will actually show, uh, suit your face. Would you want more angular brows or would you want more brows which are more fuller? So we would understand the shape of the face and then a shape would be designed according to the shape of the face and your personality as well because maybe not all kind of brows suit everyone. And on the day of the treatment, we would put a numbing cream, which is just a cream that is put on your brow area to numb it up. It has to be left over the area for about 40 minutes. And after that, we start the process, which involves very teeny mini micro needles. Those needles are so small that you would not feel anything. A, of course, your area is numbed and those needles are just creating fine lines as per the brow creation that we want. So those lines are creating the tattooing of the microblading which is called the process and your brows are ready. Alright, so one gets microblading done, uh, you come back after six weeks for yes. a touch up yes. and how long do they last then or do you need to come back for a See, touch up again? it should last you at least for one and a half to two years, that's what I've seen in my practice because beyond that it starts to fade and once you get addicted to seeing those fuller brows, you want them to be there forever. So I would want you to maybe start over the process after one and a half to two years. And uh, any anything one must know, any pros or cons of the treatment? See, you need to be sure what kind of brow shape do you want. Because many times I've seen there's a mismatch between the expectation and reality. So it's really important for you to be real with your expectations and to maybe get some pictures to understand, let the doctor understand what exactly you're looking at and be patient while the process is being carried on for the full shape to appear. Because in one go, you might not be able to see the full thing. But it's only after the second touch-up, you will be able to appreciate that what has been created. Alright, and in terms of maintenance, what is required? Can you put just about anything on your face? Can you go for a natural face mask, or a, a market face mask? Can you put anything or do you, see, are just, there any chemicals you need to stay away yeah, from? Yeah, so just after the treatment, it's like a normal tattoo. We don't want any laser, a laser to be going very close to your brows. So if you're doing any laser hair reductions or any other sorts of Q-switch lasers, you need to tell the doctor or the practitioner what is being done right because we don't want that tattoo ink to be getting faded away and just after the treatment we would want you to take care of your face of course no alcohol hopefully and no um, scrubbing the face uh, excessively because these are some do's and don'ts and no excessive heat or exercising or steam and sauna for just a couple of days and after that you're good to go and uh, in, uh, now we are in the middle of a pandemic uh, are more and more people going for these treatments or uh, do you see the number reducing just because it's a pandemic so i think pandemic has given them more time to concentrate on their looks more and more time they're looking at themselves in the mirror they understand what they actually need and uh, yes uh, they are going more and more for microblading because with the mask covering their face they want their eyes and their brows to be in shape all the time all right so in terms of percentage if you could give us a number let's say by what percentage your uh, clients have increased for microblading because of the pandemic and wearing of the mask i think about 30 percent 
definitely I would say that and even I see a lot of increase in brides to be choosing the street then. And any particular age group that uh, lip tattooing and microblading for the eyebrows is more popular? So anything between 25 to 50 years of age they are going for it. Even like um, medical conditions like hypothyroidism, it gives you very very thin brows like your medial brows just tend to go away. So for patients like those, they also choose microblading a lot. Even with patients who have undergone chemotherapy, they end up losing a lot of their hair which is especially on the brows too. So we also do it for them. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So Shivani, you're done with microblading on your eyebrows and lip tattooing. Uh, how do you feel? It's looking good. It's looking nice. I'm so pretty. When it's done, it's very beautiful. Was it painful? No. It's a painless. Like numbing cream apply kara, then uske baad mein local anesthesia liya, so pata hi nahi chala ki like treatment hua bhi ya nahi. Love it. Yeah. Are you feeling naturally beautiful? Yes. In a world where wearing a mask is a prerequisite, the only feature you can think of accentuating is your set of eyes and that's what I'm going to do as I get a pair of artificial eyelashes at Nova Lash. Hi! Please come. Um, Ambika right now is getting uh, American volume. Our American volume technique is specific to us. The lashes are except very, very light. And they're in, she's doing little bunches, if you can tell. One of our AV lashes, um, like a bunch of our AV lashes about that he's making, you can tell, is actually equivalent to one of our classic lashes. So the reason that they'll stay and um, not damage our natural lashes is because they're light. The diameter is very, very thin. And he's, see, he's pulling them off, he's making a bunch. And then he will dip it in the Nova Lash patented glue. And he'll put it on, he'll isolate her lash and put it on. It takes about an hour and 30 minutes. And a lot of it depends on the client's natural lashes. We, we still manage to get you done in about an hour and 30 minutes, but some clients take a little bit longer. three different kinds of services that we offer. We have the Classic Lash, which is the original launch that we've done. And um, it's a 2995, I believe, all inclusive with taxes. Um, it'll give you a really basic mascara look. Our technique is like, it will not damage your lashes. There's two or three things that we do in application. It starts with the glue, obviously. We import it from the States, it's FDA approved, it's carcinogen free, that's one. The second is during the application, he individually isolates each eyelash and applies um, either the bunch or the eyelash. This prevents any of the smaller lashes to stick to it. So when it grows out, it, it'll, it'll ensure that there's no gapping. We recommend that you um, use our Nova Lash um, pads. They are, they're really nice, they're really hydrating, but uh, we avoid glycol for makeup removal. We uh, advise within uh, a monthly touch-up. Actually, I think people are still not getting out in Delhi as much as they were before. Um, the minute, of, we have clients that were like the minute lockdown opened, they were here like in line the next day. <laughs> but we have a lot of clients that are still not stepping out. Actually, to be very honest with you, COVID, pre-COVID also, um, because of what we do, we, we, they've all, our boys have always worn masks. Um, the shields are new, but I think we'll continue to wear them. Um, we've always sanitized all of our tools. Um, we've always been pretty uh, particular about sanitization, even before COVID. So the seats would get cleaned even pre-COVID. Um, it's just kind of how we function. They always wear gloves also. So I've got um, one thing that we really take, like, you know, the, the guy that's sitting beside you and trained, he's been audited. So before we get the guys out on the floor, they do a minimum of 100 models, and we make sure we audit them and continually educate them. So all these new techniques that we keep coming up with, London Volume we just launched last year. 
um, our U.S. department, our, we have an R&D department in the U.S. that's constantly innovating. Um, so every about year or two we come up with some new technique. Vanity does come at a price. A pair of brand new eyelash extensions can set you back from anywhere between 3,000 to 8,000 rupees. Uh, they recommend an eyelash refill after four weeks and that costs 60% of your original eyelash price. And if you don't want to refill, you can let your eyelashes grow out and uh, you will have your original eyelashes back with you in two to three months. On that note, I bid you farewell. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next week.